You know, when we first got married, somebody gave us a one-year Bible, and we thought, what a cool gift. We're going to read through the oh, Bible yeah. in our first married year. And you know how that works, a little from the New Testament, a little bit from the Old Testament, and in a year's time, you've read through the whole yeah, Bible, right? Read a shared, amazing thing. I think we got through the first six chapters of Genesis <laughs> before we gave up on this project. We yes. were doing this just before we'd fall asleep, and we discovered we started to have little tiffs about who gets to read first because that person could actually start to doze off while the other person was reading was from the still new. doing yes. the fervent work. Right. Yeah. Not a couple of spiritual giants here. We were both in seminary at the time, too. And uh, it, we really discovered that that is not our style. Yeah, and we thought it would draw us closer to God and each other, but it didn't because it didn't fit. And prayer can also be the same way sometimes. Yeah, we weren't jiving on prayer either, and we were sending little messages. And just the whole idea of spiritual intimacy right. wasn't falling into place for us. So... Uh, well, we're social scientists. We yes. were in graduate school at the time. We thought, let's do a survey. And we began to survey church-going couples asking two very simple questions. How satisfied are you with your level of spiritual intimacy? And how important is that to you? Now, when it comes to importance, people, what do you think they would say? Nine or ten. These are oh, church-going yeah. couples. They we valued really think it like us. Important. On average, what do you think they said how content, how satisfied with their level of spiritual intimacy? Well, three or four. Huge gap between what they want and what they have when it comes to spiritual intimacy. And our response personally was like, oh, at least we're not alone, yeah, right? This is somewhat normal, but it's not what we aspire to. Right, so what can we do about yeah. that? Yeah, and that's where we started seeking some mentoring from other couples. What are you guys doing that really does draw your spirits together? And we discovered something really important. There's three essential things. No, we didn't find three <laughs> essential things. That's what we were hoping for. Right. Here's what we discovered. Everybody has their own pathway right. in learning to walk together with God in a way that's meaningful. Yes. So if you're struggling with spiritual intimacy in your own relationship, that's all right. Give it some time as you discover the sacred pathway for the two of you.